something that I discovered, which is done by Germans, I hope I'm not offending um, <clears throat> our, our guest speaker by citing this, about um, media viability. I'm saying here that uh, financially stable media houses have greater chances of enjoying greater uh, media freedom than those are, that are struggling. Um, they do not have time to speak to the government advertising agency to look for advertising. Because government is the biggest advertiser. It has a big, big cake. And there is carrot stick business. That if you want to get this cake, you must stop saying these things. Which um, undermines freedom of expression. So, um, Germany is um, DW Academy has identified 24 media viability indicators. 24. But I'll just touch on four in our case here. One of them is rule of law. It visualizes laws that guarantee rights to citizens' participation in governance and the judiciary that applies laws and judgments impartially to, to businesses and individuals. And as I say this, you need to interrogate uh, what our judiciary does when a person walks before the judges with a plea of libel and slander. Um, they deal with media in such a way as to encroach on media freedoms. So this model from uh, DW Academia is looking at that rule of law component. It is looking at the freedom of expression, think, saying that the country has a strong legal framework supporting freedom of expression. Look at our case where the Constitution says this but the attendant laws close back. Um, criminal and civil statutes and actions are not used to silence and intimidate journalists. We can reflect on here what happens here, um, that the opposite happens. Those statutes are used to, you know, I'm, not, uh, I'm just concluding. 